I just heard something. We we're actually about to look at it in Yala, and uh, I just got a report on the radio that Karuna's right here. So I'm trying to get there. It sounds like she is heading south towards the boundary. So hold on. Let me just grab my game drive. Ferrari Safari. Elvis confirmed best approaches from Gary Man. Okay, hold on guys. So we were looking in the right area. Now we're gonna see if we how Jandre's rodeo skills are. This is quite fun though. <laughs> Sand driving is something I did a lot of growing up in northern Botswana. Yeah. There we go, jean is on the radio. This is... We're, we're about two minutes, not even, from where Karula is. And it, I see the vehicle and she is apparently heading south, so we might just get a glimpse of her. Woo, sand flying up there. Okay, she's just up here, the queen of Juma, walking down our southern boundary. There she is there. Isn't this amazing? We're with the Queen of Juma. If any of you are new to Safari Live, this is the dominant female leopard over Juma. And her territory does extend to the south of our Travis area. So I'm just gonna pop there we go and stop here. There she is. Let's hope she cuts back to the northwest, and that's into Juma rather than to the south. Now she does have two cubs at the moment. And we're not sure where she's hidden them. She could have hidden them to the south. She could have hidden them on Juma. That's a good girl. Looks like she wants to take that. That elephant path is the right one. Okay. There she goes. Just want to watch her very carefully. Now, Karula is one of the few female leopards that I've spent a lot of time with that moves a lot during the day. Quite a lot of leopards will sleep during the day, but Karula does tend to move quite a bit in the daylight hours. Come on, turn right. Everyone will Karula to go to the right. So James's intel was spot on about where to start looking. We both started and we were both coming in on that area to try and maximize our chances of seeing her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a long trip around her and get up ahead of her. jean is going to keep an eye on her for me. So we're going to go, fortunately, this nice new built road. I'll go that way, Karula. So it looks like, by the way, the way she's chosen to go, um, her cubs might be to the south. I was hoping she was going to walk further up the road towards Treehouse Dam. But she is heading to the south. Now she might just, she's gonna pop out and just get us in the right spot. Uh, there we 
Yeah, she's going to pop out in that little opening there, Jandre. Yeah. Okay, good. So unfortunately, she is going to the south. I think she's probably returning to the Cubs. Now, what we want to look at her carefully. Oh, she's coming back towards us. I'm going to just get a photo of her, her face. No, she's hungry. There's no blood around her face. And I was hoping she might have made a kill and was returning to fetch the cubs and bring the, kill, uh, bring the cubs back to Juma. Now, she probably has gone into this slightly thicker area. And that's to help her stalk. So if there's a, a little steenbok, possibly impala around, there's a lot less chance of her being spotted when she's in that monkey orange thicket. So I'm just going to let a car go past. He's not on game drive, he's on his way past. Okay, we're going to try to keep up with her now. She's parallel to us. And I'm just going to. We still got her. She still might easily cross into Juma. I think she's just utilizing these thickets uh, to her advantage in case there are any potential prey species up ahead. There she is. Isn't she gorgeous? The queen of Juma, Karula, the female leopard. One of the most successful leopard mothers I've ever had the privilege of spending time with. And raised the majority of her known litters to adulthood. Now that is no mean feat when in the Sabi Sands uh, the average leopard mortality is about 75%. So 75% of all cubs born are normally killed and normally by other male leopards. Okay, I'm going to stop. She looks like she might come back onto the road. And you can see she's just lifted her tail, she's been spotted by some birds. And you'll notice leopards do that when they've been spotted by birds or by uh, antelope. But when it's antelope and the antelope are alarming at them, they tend to lift their tail much higher. But with birds, they'll just lift the little curl. Our beard. Uh, our beard would like to know. I'm just gonna try. Don't go that way. She might just. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out where she's going. I'm gonna be back with you in a second. Now, our beard would like to know whether she'll gorge herself first before collecting the cubs or collect their cubs immediately. Uh, normally, she will eat. Possibly not gorge herself, but she'll definitely make sure she's had a meal. Sorry, John, that was a bit harsh on the brakes there. Um, before she, before she fetches the cubs, but generally quite a quick meal. And you can see how that rosetted camouflage walks and breaks up her outline. And if she had to st keep still, she would almost disappear. Absolutely incredibly beautiful creatures. Are right, you just going to have a vehicle come past you shortly? Don't worry about it. It's just Elvis, he's the one who called. He's the one who called us to come find Krula, so we owe him a thank you. I just hope she doesn't head further south. Just keeping an eye on her, she's in there. A little bit of a monkey orange thicket. It's gonna pop out into that gap, Chandra. There we 
go. Here she comes. Three, two, one. <laughs> Now, Karula loves monkey orange thickets. Now, that's mostly because two of her favorite prey species spend a lot of time in the monkey orange thickets. That's the Sternbork and Diker. Now, the reason she likes those smaller species is she is, she is a female leopard. She's, oh, whoopsie. She's not the biggest female leopard around either. Hold on, Jean, do need a bit of a, a bit more of a jump to get over that one. Yeah. And uh, she probably weighs about 35 kgs, which is just about 80 pounds or so. And a big male impala is, is quite a. She, not to say she can't catch them, but she can't lift them into the tree. So, oh no, she's going south. John, don't maybe get one last view for you. And she disappears. You got her? There she is. I think she is heading back towards the cubs. We might get one last view. There is a, a little river system that comes here, and I know we can look down it from a certain spot, so let's try for one last view of the queen of Juma. Still just make her out through the bush there. See her, Jean? She might have ducked down into that river system. There you, Queen Karula. There she is. Um, further behind. Okay, Jandra, just hang where you are. There she is. The zoom dead sensor. There we go. So she has, is heading straight into that little river system. I'm afraid I think that's the last we're going to see of her on this sunset safari but what an incredible start and she is looking healthy if not a bit hungry I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit in case she changes her mind but I don't think so we might actually get one more view as she crosses there's a slight open area over there let's have a look what do you think Chandra? maybe this is gonna be our best chance somewhere through yeah maybe not 